Yes, this is Eric Sanders, and today I'm going to talk about filing a complaint of discrimination, in particular employment discrimination. In New York and in many other states, you have the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, also known as the EEOC. And when you file a complaint with that agency, you can file under the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which is Title VII. Um, in that case, you can file a complaint either by going online and sending a questionnaire and waiting for the agency to send you the charge of discrimination in mail and then you have it notarized and sent back to the agency where they are at least supposed to theoretically initiate an investigation against the employer. Or you can actually go into the EEOC's local office and you can file a charge of discrimination at the local office. So important tips to know about the EEOC. The EEOC has limited jurisdiction. In other words, their uh, jurisdiction is limited to investigate employee discrimination, but there's a caveat here. If it's a private employer, the EEOC has a lot more authority to conduct an investigation. However, if it's a local authority, then you have this constitutional limitation where the federal government can investigate local authorities, state and local governments. So what they would have to do is, in theory, at least if they want to investigate or get subpoena power over that agency, they would have to go to the Department of Justice to get permission to initiate such action. And that's because there's constitutional protections and limitations, but we don't have to get into it for these purposes. Now, in some states like New York, it's what's known as a FEPA state. And FEPA is the acronym is F-E-P-A, and F-E-P-A stands for Fair Employment Practices Agency. In that case, you have the New York State Division of Human Rights and the New York City Commission on Human Rights who also work share EEOC charges. In other words, whenever you file with either one of those three agencies, you duly file with the other agencies at the same time. Now, if you file with the New York State Division of Human Rights, you're filing under New York State Execu Executive Law 296, where it has the same protections under, uh, or similar to Title VII, although New York has a little bit variances and you can go on the website, you can take a look at it to explain that more in detail. And the New York City Commission on Human Rights is the same thing. There's certain city statutes that are broader and have more protections than even the state and federal statutes. But just remember that employment discrimination deals with race, national origin, religion, you know, age, things like that. And just remember, hostile work environment, retaliation. And just remember, if you file an employment discrimination complaint, you can file with either the local EEOC office in your um, area, or you can file with the state division of human rights or similar agency in your, your area. And if you're lucky enough to have a local authority, such as the city of New York, since it has such a large population, you can also file on a local authority. And just remember, and I suggest this all the time, whenever you take such actions, although people you know feel comfortable in doing it on their own, and go pro se or, or file on your own, you should really consult the, uh, you know, an experienced attorney that practices in those areas that can uh, give you some helpful information that could affect the outcome of your case. And here's another uh, helpful tip from the Santa Firm PC. Thank you.